Hello everyone, Zoom Zoom here, so much. and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem I still can't houses. believe what we saw in that forest. The wandering beast's eviscerated body. Only human bones, and this sword remaining. Surely the creature's true identity was... I'm sorry. You again? I heard rumor that the Wandering Beast was slain. But do you really believe that frees you of suspicion? Without proof that it was slain, the argument that you are not a beast does not stand. Furthermore, I... Huh? Oh, that sword! When the Wandering Beast was defeated, this sword... It's unmestakable. Carved into that sword's crest stone is Maurice's crest. But... How would the lost magic blade end up with the wandering beast? According to what I know of Maurice's story, he didn't let go of the sword until the very end. That must mean... I see. So that's what happened. My apologies. It seems I was mistaken. I must be going. So the wandering beast was... Maurice himself. He was roaming the dark woods for over a thousand years, suffering for his murderous past. Good thing you were able to put an end to it. It's true. And because of that, I feel as though my curse has been lifted. The blood of a beast no longer flows through me. I feel human for once. Thank you, Professor. I couldn't have done it on my own. Without your help, I would never have found peace. I'll do anything I can to repay my debt to you. We received Blit Gang. Magic weapon, crest bearer, can use Beast Fang. We'll give this to Marianne. But oh, that guy, he is just an asshole. There's no way to put it. My thank you but so much. This leads me into what happens to Marianne grateful. if you don't recruit her on the repass? Well, I have gratitude. With this ending, of that paralogue. And the start, it's implied she, well, you could probably tell, it's just <sighs> so dis disheartening. Shall we? Can't afford to slack off. I'll do my Let's best. Move. Training time. strategy here it won't be in vain at the ready Sorry. 
but I must. Wait for? I can't afford this setback. It's honestly not bad. Let's make this quick. No time to slow down. My orders? Me well. Steady now. Shall we? Definitely need to start you up. Give you some gains. Leave it to me. That's another one. Now with this. Seen that coming. In a hurry to die, are you? Thought you best me. Thank you. Nice. Your guard down. Oh, 
Oh my god. Jesus, Lawrence. A nobleman does his duty. I can exceed this. Lament Braxas Vis. Frozen Lance. Too close for my liking. I wouldn't say that. Turn the tides. Hey, look at you. Don't get used to this. Bingo. I've got some renown and. I am grateful. I have gratitude. Thanks so much. It's like birthday. I, am I would post tea party, but oof, got some stuff to do. Okay, inventory. 
Seraph. What's your status? Oh, strength's good. But why aren't you double -eyed? Uh, you can get rid of that steel bow. Uh, give dexterity to someone else. Pause the spear of soul for now. My Sepia. Everyone, at least one elixir. If they have to remove the concoction to use it, then so be it. Ambush at Ail. The Valley Eternal. In response to the Alliance Army's plea, Judith has agreed to provide soldiers. To meet up with reinforcements, the Alliance Army sets out for Ail, -El, the Valley of Torment. Unbeknownst to Claude, something else awaits them there. getting all sweaty don't be a wimp anything's worth it for more food supplies move over Raphael somehow you make the heat even worse let's stay calm everyone once we meet up with Judith's soldiers we can go right back home oh I finally remembered the legend goes that this valley was born from the wrath of the goddess 
They say a pillar of light poured from the heavens and completely burned away the forest that used to be here. So you're telling me the goddess, who is supposed to be benevolent, burned a forest to a crisp? Typical. That's what the legend would have us believe, but it's not recorded in any of the scriptures. Either it's completely made up, or the goddess is some kind of monster. Huh? Is that... The time for idle chatter is over, Claude. Look over there. Ah, has someone come to greet us? Enemies. That banner does not bear the Daphnal crest. If memory serves, that's the crest of House Roe, formerly Lords of the Kingdom. They joined the Empire side without hesitation during the coup. And now here they are, lying in wait for us. Damn. I thought we had disposed of all the spies. House Row is mediocre and vulgar, but I hear their knights are powerful. What about the Daphnal soldiers? You don't think... We need to break through. We need to break through the ranks. We've already been spotted, so there's no time to come up with a brilliant plan. Everyone, prepare for battle. I leave the command in your capable hands, my friend. And now, to trivialize this map. So hilarious. Like, <laughs> oh. Okay, map. So, oh, right. I forgot. If you haven't recruited Ash, he is an enemy. He starts with a killer bow, and this guy has a chest key for this chest. So we have an extra archer to deal with. I usually recruit them, so I'm surprised that Ash is here. And there's two chests. I don't believe yet. And there's a lot of archers. Okay. So because I'm gonna have Claude. Ah. Marketplace. Wow. I am Claude. Is that the one? Thanks. 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 Okay. Come back. I am. So who am I gonna send downward? Probably Sophia. So I could probably get rid of one of her vulnerabilities. Let's get a chest key. All right. With that. Let's map out. I don't like being put here. Okay. The Valley of Torment. Perhaps a good place to finish off my life as a knight. Only if that puny force of children is able to kill me, of course. So, their general must be that stubborn-looking old man. He looks like he wouldn't even forgive a sobbing child. It's good we came armed for the occasion. Care to find Judith? Okay. Flames are flaring everywhere and burning people where they stand. LL's a terrible place. Everyone, if you don't want to get burned to a crisp, watch your step. Guess what? We don't need to care. But we need to be careful. Okay, don't need to worry about those, we need to worry about you, 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 and you. Alright, so... What's my strategy? Then we go here, can't really do much Three. yet, so we'll have to buy ourselves some Shall time. Shall we? Ooh, I think we should just... That's risky. Leave it to me. I do need some. 
Let's the rest this of force. I will not die yet. Steady now. My orders? Your orders are this. I'll do my best. Guide me well. Shall we? The Crest of Flames! <laughs> Quite full of themselves, aren't they? Just as I thought. The Professor's army. But it's too late to back out now. In Lenato's place, I have to do my duty. Ilyash. Next yeah. try. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. This is where things start getting hard. Come right in. Try effectiveness zone. I will attack Ash. So. I don't want to fight you, Professor. But this is how it has to be. There's no turning back. Why is this music so good? Why? I'm sorry, Ash. I know this is it. But I don't want to die. This is war. Killing France. Killing people you know. It's all part of war. My moment has arrived! I fought and won. Quite sure you, you can recruit them, so it's not exactly easy, and I don't know the requirements. I just know it's possible because I've done it before. I wasn't about to let you go. Cool, but true. I've got no time for mercy. Alright, who's next? Still? No, seriously. Why do they have to use such a good song for fighting your former friends? Sorry, but it's you or me. chest a bull axe all I can think of is Pyre Emblem Radiant Dawns a fail of a boss there you go 
Some more of you. Be like this. Much easier to deal with foes from a distance. Lament your weakness. You're on fire. Brave axe. Never let your guard down. Caution. Best me. Kill okay, Lance, bro. That's fine. And now we can start soaring. Here we go. Attack them from both sides. Out. Still at. Goodbye. Another one. Just like that. <laughs> just shatter through. I'll use this power for the greater good. I feel my. King of Lovers. We're not dealing with him. Brave blow. Brave blow. Brave blow. Give him 
a magical slap. Push forward. Access. Heal. Breaker taught me well. It's no more reinforcements to help. We're about to crush them. Oh, fighting wears me out. Oh, there's Judith. Oh, old Gwendol is here, and he doesn't look to be an ally. Oh, the hero of Daphnel is here. I'll expect more from her than the young ones. The few conditions have changed. Now let's look at Judith, who, <sighs> sadly, isn't someone we can recruit. I left, not talking about the two recruitable characters for Crimson Flower and I don't remember the blue lines sag part. But yeah, one of them is a knife that we worked with who the best way the best way you can describe him He lags behind too much that there's no point bringing him for anything. Uh, the Crimson Flower group, though, is the Death Knight. Yeah, that should just tell you how good they are. Sorry, it's gotta be like this. Nice. Got <laughs> Too close for my liking. Okay. So, ignore all them and open the chest. So, shield. That is all. All right, who's next? I'll have to repair that. Still alive. Talk. I didn't actually know. But then again, it's not going to be too useful. 
Another victory. Don't get used to this. Now I see. <laughs> Does a whelp like you really expect to kill me? I am Gwendol, the Grey Lion, a knight by the hand of Count Roe. Do your worst. So I have found a place to die. Young ones, I thank you. That old man must have been struggling with the position he found himself in. It's time to gather ourselves and pull back our troops. And that... Is that... To think we'd get into a scrap here, of all places. We're lucky we all made it out alive. I'm sorry for involving you in this. Don't worry about it. In this day and age, it's a miracle I've been unscathed this long. Anyway, long time no see, Professor. Are you still watching this boy's back? Can you quit calling me a boy in front of everyone? I'm the leader of the Alliance now. It's not proper. Not proper, is it? says the leader who has neglected Alliance territory for years. If you're really the master tactician, you should go back to working quietly at whatever little desk you do your planning on. Yeah, don't call me that either. Who even came up with that nickname? <laughs> it's a perfect title for a boy who loves crafty schemes as much as you do. You should be grateful to the professor. On your own, you'd look like a scoundrel of a leader. Claude's usually so flippant, but even he gets overwhelmed when Judith is around. As expected from the leader of the prestigious House Daphne, her dignity is beyond compare, even if she is no longer one of the five great lords. The five great lords? The five most influential lords of the Leicester Alliance. They hold the voting rights at the roundtable conferences. House Daphne used to be included among their ranks. But division from within has hastened their decline. Their vote has since been passed to the emerging Margrave Edmund. Thanks for the exposition, Gloucester boy. Boy? I will not... Now to business. There were some unexpected interruptions, but I've brought soldiers and supplies, as promised. Thanks, Judith. I'll gladly take them off your hands. Hold your horses, boy. You're misunderstanding. These soldiers are precious to me. I made them what they are. I'm not about to loan them out to someone. No? Then why did you come here? What I'm saying is that I'll be joining your army. You're going to fight the Empire with the Knights of Saros, right? Fight for Lady Rhea? Not without me. That's admirable and all, but we still don't know for sure if Rhea is in the... Oh, she's there. A witness saw Lady Rhea being dragged off by the Imperial Army after the battle five years ago. Are you sure your source is reliable? One of my own saw it happen. I'm certain. It seems we chose wisely when we decided to fight against the Empire. But you're the leader of House Daphne. Is it okay for you to leave your territory unattended? And what about you? Is it okay for you to leave the Regan territory unattended? That's... I... I've left it in the hands of a reliable retainer and... And I've asked that retainer to watch over Daphne territory as well. Wait, 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 wait. You just up and decided to get my retainer to do that without even asking me? No respect, this one. What retainer? Oh, you haven't met him yet, Professor? His name is Nardell. He strikes me as a really special individual, 
And he's quite handsome, too. So that's your definition of handsome? <laughs> no objections, then. Good. That settles it. House Daphnil is now yours to command. <sighs> I'm sure you'd come along even if I refused. So be it. We'll be counting on you, Judith. <sighs> With Judith joining our forces, we've secured some more troops and supplies. Albeit not many. Hmm. I'm sorry it couldn't be more. No, it's enough for the time being. We'll use them to secure even more troops and supplies. How so? The key to my plan is Count Gloucester, the leader of the pro-Empire faction in the Alliance. You intend to sway my father to join the other side? If Count Gloucester were to switch to the other side, that would basically unify the Alliance. Then we could utilize our full military force in the fight against the Empire. You don't mean to ask me to persuade him, do you? That would be quite impossible. I don't plan on it. We'll just take his concerns out of the equation. The Aramid River flows along the border between Gloucester territory and the Empire, right? Of all the bridges that cross it, the Great Bridge of Murden is the only one near Gloucester territory large enough for an army. Currently, the Imperial Army occupies it. So, if we were to capture the bridge... Count Gloucester would be freed from the threat of the Empire, thanks to us. But we have to pass through Gloucester territory to reach the Great Bridge of Murden, do we not? Yes, and if we attempted it, naturally he would try to stop us. I am sorry, but I must ask. Surely you do not plan to engage in combat with my father? Don't worry. I want him as a future ally. What good would it do to waste both of our forces fighting? I take it you have a scheme? Who do you think you're talking to, Teach? Preparations are in the works even now. <laughs> so the Master Tactician is finally going to show us his true power. I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> I'll do my best to live up to that name by making my scheme as impressive as possible. And with that, next time on Fire Emblem, three houses. Oh. Scenes were preparing to siege the Great Bridge of Murden. This is Ian and Zimmer, signing out.